The Dilemma of American Women. What to do with their shapes. Each year, fashion keeps pushing the figure around and changing the emphasis. Our women face constant style change. Is it in? Are they out? Is it up? Or is it down? Or do you have them at all? Contour delinquency, a major problem of the 20th century, often results in severe schizophrenic disorders. No American female wants to look like yesterday's rose, does she? No. She must keep up with the latest fashions. 1903. Dame Modish decrees that milady should wear a corset that laces her into an hourglass silhouette. Skirts must sweep the floor and never, never reveal the limbs. Milady must achieve the Grecian bend. Arch the back, drop the shoulders, and bosom forward for balance. <laughs> That's rather good. Now add a dashing hat to enhance Madame's crowning glory. And finally, a feather boar to caress your alabaster throat. Quite ravishing. A fashion, that fickle jade, has at last found a way to glorify the natural female figure. 1914. Madame, the undulating torso is fini. Tout à fait fini. The newest Paris corset is a straight tube from the bosom well down. No more full skirts. We now have an overdrape to emphasize the roundness of the hips. And voila, the Hubble skirt. <laughs> oh. Now lower the neckline, a daring three inches to admit the fresh air. Add Madame's elegant chapeau. The ravisson. <laughs> and the parasol for final eclat. This season, the one-legged look is the dernier cri. Madame does not walk, she misses. it. What's the matter? Can't sit? Ah, oh, then you're completely Camille Faux. Camille Faux. 1925. Hey, baby, get out of those rags. Women have the vote, can't you read? Take off that skirt if you want to be an it girl. The hem goes up, 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 up. The belt comes down, 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 down. Oh, identify your waistline. Now, now she cover, you know. Ah, uh, we don't have chests for crying out loud. We bare our shoulders in a snazzy bateau neckline. We don a coach to make deep, shadowy pools of our eyes. <laughs> to relieve any starkness, a simple strand of pearls. <laughs> Very snappy. At last, fashion has found its groove. So youthful and becoming to every figure that women will never, never give them up. Free from corseted conventions, it's now chic to smoke, even in public. Nineteen thirty-seven. Good heavens! What are you doing in that get-up? The boyish flapper's dead. And we're all going to be very pretty this season. Now, up with the waistline. What's the matter? Can't you find your waistline? Down with the hemline. Oh, where are your shoulder pads? This year, it's smart to be the broad-shouldered, healthy, independent, vital American girl. Like Joan Crow. We slash our skirts to give a tantalizing glimpse of the knee. As a final nonchalant note, casually twist a turban around your curls for a much more exotic you. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> Above all, we have lip allure. No, 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 dear. Why then? No, dear. Our lips are delicious this year. <laughs> now 
now to the freedom-loving, casual American woman, bringing out her natural abandon. <laughs> Fashion has come to grips with reality. 1953. Freedom is the note. The emancipated, clear-eyed American career girl has finally freed herself from the slavery of fashion. Nowadays, one basic dress, with proper accessories, of course, will take her calmly through the whirl of her busy day and on into the wonderful glamour of the night. A trim, functional little dress, demurely fastened at the throat. She seizes her cape and it's off to the office for a day's work. And oh, it's lunchtime! The clean lines of our basic little dress are topped by a cape and over the shoulders of a lazy manner and oh, it's cocktail time! After the day's accomplishment, a neckline punches, oh, oh, and a big blue pad gives our dynamic career girl an elusive quality, and oh, it's theater time. With no need to change the costume, the alabaster shoulders emerge in all their fragile, trusting, clinging charm. The hat, poof, a mere pom-pom. And after her carefree day, our career girl returns home fresh and eager for adventure as when she started for. <laughs> Isn't she? <laughs> The American woman faces tomorrow unafraid, welcoming the next day's challenges, well knowing that she has defeated contour delinquency. Dauntless, she faces the future shoulder to shoulder with men in their basic Brooks Brothers suits, knowing that she too is simple, basic, and in wonderful shape. Shape marches on.